I'm going to call this little video foot therapy for travelers. Why I'm sitting up on a cushion on a bed is because there's so little space in our accommodation and the bed seemed like it gave me enough room. And that is a problem when you're traveling, isn't it? Little space to do yoga practice. So what you see me doing here is my recovery from the long walks that we've been doing through national parks, sometimes city centers, galleries, all those lovely things that you want to do when you're traveling, but they wear and tear on your feet. So moving through the ankle joints, back and forth, in and out, feet apart, and circling. And you might see that um, I'm moving through my feet and my ankles and my toes and not so much through uh, my legs. So my knees stay pretty still. And what I like about these exercises is they take all those many bones of your feet, 26 of them each foot, through their range of movement. And yeah, you start to feel like you're loosening up that achiness that you get in your feet. Don't forget your toes, of course. So when you open your spacing between your toes, sometimes they open up quite a lot, sometimes not so much. Um, yeah, like squeezing just brings more circulation into the toes, the feet, and the ankles. So having done that, then you give yourself a treat. And what I'm doing here is just a little bit of moisturizer and that helps you get a hold of your feet and when you've done that then you can open up the spacing between the toes a little bit more and kind of give more individual attention to the toes. It's really really good in and out movement like that with, for your hand joints too, your finger joints, you know, where your knuckles sometimes get a little bit stiff. And it's easier to get your fingers in, I think, from the top of your foot. When you go in from the foot pad side, it's sometimes a little bit more difficult. Yeah, so as much play of the toes that you can get there. And once you've done that, then a good old ankle crank doesn't go astray. Shake it out. And then moisturizing up again for the second side. And when you do this, it's in the spirit of being kind to your body. When you're traveling, sometimes you just exhaust yourself and you don't give yourself that little bit of extra time. But when you do your yoga practice, when you do massage like this, it will give you more opportunities to enjoy your travels. So same routine, in and out like this. Always being careful to not go too far. You know, if this is uncomfortable for you in any way, then just back off slightly and do what you can. The rotation through the ankles, going the other direction, and then another shake out. And you're good to go, or just to rest, legs up the wall.